I've spent way too much time lying on the floor of my tiny home looking up at that unfinished ceiling. Now normally I would just board it over, get rid of the gaps, job done, that's it. But that's boring. So Amber and I came up with something much more exciting. <laughs> A hidden game ceiling. Yes, wouldn't that be fun? Imagine if you could open up parts of the ceiling to reveal card games, board games, puzzles, all hidden for you to discover. Well, in this video, I'm going to try and make one. I say try, I can't find any other examples of a game ceiling, so this might be the first of its kind. I'm looking forward to this one. This is going to be fun. Here are the games I'm going to hide. Articulate, Uno, cards, and a puzzle or two. So I'm going to put pieces up like this, straight in the middle, and cover this section so I can put the lights in and bits. So those bits will be blocked off, but then everything from here onwards, and here onwards, is reserved for games. <laughs> Yay! So that's the boring bit done. I'm going to cut some holes for the little lights and then, well, and then I can do the fun bit, which is games. Games, games, games. I'm about to have light. Light, 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 light. Oops! There you go! Spotlights are in! I'm gonna go turn the lights on. Ready? Ah! Oh, it looks great! Okay, so I've got mini articulate game. I think that could go somewhere like here. Then I've got cards, which will probably be the most popular because everyone plays cards. And maybe here. Uh, Uno as well, a classic. That can go there. So you've got one, two, three. Uno articulating cards on that side. And then this side, a puzzle. Borton on the Water at Christmas. Borton on the Water is a very sweet Cotswold town. It's about 20 minutes away from here. It's very touristy, they love it. So, this is a perfect puzzle for them. This can go, I reckon here. Farming puzzle thing, here. This one can go there. Three games on this side, two puzzles on this side. To celebrate my game ceiling, I'll have a games night. That's what I'm gonna do. That's cool, isn't it? So yesterday I finished this side of the room and today I'm going to finish that side. Actually, it's been a very easy and quick build for me. Most things take at least twice as long as I think they will. And actually, I, if I'd have started earlier yesterday, and hadn't faffed around working out bits and pieces on other projects. I probably would have done this in a whole day. A game ceiling in a day. Oh, I'll show you what they look like. They'll swing down, like, from this side here. Like that. And I'm thinking having two big pieces of rope here and here, so it's, it stops it swinging all the way back. And then you just take your puzzle, play your game. When you're done, put it back. Away it goes. And then, games night tonight. The inaugural games night.
Okay, just got some standard little hinges. Okay, the first one. Why am I speaking with a square in my mouth? I don't know, I should have taken that out, but it's too late now. Uh. Yes! Oh, how cool is that? What's this one supposed to be? Articulate. And goodbye game. Oh, hello. Ha ha! I'm doing the speaking with the screws in my mouth again. I do apologise. Yes! Cards go there. Ta da! Next side, puzzle time! Puzzle time! Oh, that's right. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> there we go. What do you think? Right, I've got some rope that I'm going to put a bit of rope on it to stop it swinging all the way back. Hello puzzle. Bye bye puzzle. Hello puzzle. <laughs> Endless fun. It's probably about time that I introduce you to this. My whittled bearded man friend. That sounds wrong. Ha! <laughs> it's literally a, a wooden figurehead. <laughs> And I've been learning how to whittle my own men. This one's an unpainted one, a little thin stick. So I'm wondering if I should turn this wizard bearded man thing and make it into a clasp like this. So you've got the bearded man holds it in place and then maybe you can like twist it out of the way to then open it. This one, I've put a screw through his mouth because it's going to have to be a screw going up into the ceiling. Look, he's sort of projectile vomiting a screw or smoking a weird screw-like pipe. <laughs> it's like he's got a dummy in his mouth. And there's the last one. Ta-da! My games room is finished, pretty much, apart from this one. My games room is finished! Game ceiling! My game ceiling is finished. Well, it's time for games night, so I guess turn up that suitably games nighty music. I don't really know what that would be. Jazz, like a jazz lounge. Turn up like jazz lounge music. What should I play? Uno? Players two to ten. Okay, I'll play that another time when there's people. Ugh. Articulate is in this one. Players four to twenty. Cards. I don't think I know any one player card games. Not quite so fun when you're on your own, is it? Thanks for pointing out the obvious. I'm just saying, you're a stupid, little, self-obsessed man in his little tiny home that he's built, whistling weird, bearded men for company. I mean, come on, what do you expect? I mean, for God's sake, you've even resorted to stupid camera tricks to make two versions of yourself to stop yourself going a little bit insane. You deluded little- Don't play Snap or something? No! Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Uh, hit the bell button. Oh. Let me know what games you'd want in the ceiling in the comments. Bye.